Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions this day, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, gather this day giving thanks and praise to Almighty God. Let us once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, you teach us that you remain in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace so as to become a dwelling pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them, You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there I do not know, except that in one city after another the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me if only I may finish my course in the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preached the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The Word of the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land where it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens, God, who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, 
and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you. Because the word you gave me, I have given to them. And they accepted them, and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. If you had to put the scriptures today to a musical passage, it would probably be from Sound of Music, So Long, Farewell. But much more than something trite as that, both the Lord and Paul give that farewell address to the troops, if you will. In other words, life is not stagnant. It continues to progress and move forward. We cannot stop time sometimes as much as we'd like to. Taint gonna happen, McGee. Taint gonna happen. And so with faith and courage and hope, we move forward, especially with that unique hope that the Lord prays for us. I pray for them, not for the whole world. In this unique moment, I pray for them and the challenges they experience right now. They anticipate a loss, a transition, I pray that they will be open to receive that which will come after a sense of loss and after the transition. I pray that they will understand the fullness of the Holy Spirit. I pray that they will continue the mission that I've entrusted to them. And so the Lord prays for us today. Not that we get stuck in some moment of time. Not that we look back over our shoulders as we walk forward in life but that we truly look ahead to see the power and the promise. The kingdom of God lies before us. And so each day, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, let us continue to move toward that goal, knowing the Lord prays for us as we continue his mission of building up God's kingdom. Technical glitch, that would be me. I forgot to turn on the headset. And so, my sisters and brothers, as we celebrate and live our faith this day, let us offer our petitions to God, who always listens with love and compassion. That as we preach the gospel in the world and through our actions, many will come to know Christ and find salvation. We pray to the Lord. That all who serve in public office may promote policies that preserve the values of Christ and his church. We pray to the Lord. That all those who have become one with us through the Easter sacraments may faithfully join us around the table of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. That all families may be blessed with good health and always strive to make love and forgiveness evident in their lives and relationships. We pray to the Lord that those who have died may be forever blessed in the peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. God of mercy and compassion, your blessing fills us with strength and renews our hope each day. 
In your kindness, hear and answer our prayers in a time and way that will be of benefit to all. Through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, may our offering this day cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward and blessing. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For it is in you that we live and move and have our very existence. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul the Apostle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may this sacrifice of all reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Alberto, the bishop of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, let us once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world this day, for those who are near and dear to us, let us offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ My sisters and brothers, at this time I invite you to pray the prayer for a spiritual communion. Let us pray. O Lord, having come to your table and been fed with this heavenly food, we pray that we may always long for the food by which we are nourished for all eternity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Please bow your heads as we pray and ask for God's grace and blessing this day. May the blessing of God the Father descend upon you as you continue to honor the death and resurrection of his Son. Amen. May the promise of the resurrection bring you pardon, comfort, and an increased desire of faithful discipleship. Amen. May the promise of everlasting redemption be granted to all who live their belief in Christ. Amen. And may the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth this day to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia.